This is Tip 100, your source for stock market trends. I am super excited to be here to deliver this video newsletter the weekend before the presidential elections. So, this is all for educational purposes only. Here's the market rear view. We're eyeing up this 2120 level in the last video newsletter that we did. And we're going to go over that in the next slide. But it slid 2% last week, the overall market S&P. Um, we're expecting maybe, maybe some increased volatility still leading into the election. Maybe we come down 2% and right back up by the end of the week or go up 2% and back down by the end of the week. So we don't really know which way it's going, but we made the right call in the last video newsletter. Wooderson, great character, great call with the descending triangle. So that was spot on. Sector rides and slides, everything slid in the last week. There was no sector that gained. Uh, utilities did the best down a percent and a half. So, and that makes sense because in a down market, usually utilities do better. Now, healthcare in the last month has been down 8%. So that's a pretty big number that we're tracking pretty closely. Trades for tips here. We got Las Vegas Sands in this high base pattern denoted by these green lines here. And maybe a little bit of a kicker pattern in the last, this last Friday from the Thursday. So that's a good sign for the bull, the bull scenario. So we got the bull spread entry with the bull spread features. And we got these uh, lower highs forming on this Baidu chart. And lower lows. And we'll go ahead and throw in that down channel pattern. It's looking uh, like a pretty good case for the bear. So... We got a bear spread entry with the bear spread features. Here's our open bull positions. Here's the open bear positions. Here's a couple positions we closed in the last week. And the forecast, basically what we talked about, uh, expect some increased volatility leading into the elections. You don't want to be uh, be picking picking stocks right before the election. That, it just doesn't make sense because you don't know who's going to win and you don't know how the stocks are going to be affected by the outcome. So what, just wait for the price action to pan out and maybe you can get into something in later in the week. So we're expecting selling to continue and expect some fireworks. Really, there's going to be some intra-week intra highs and lows that should be, uh, should be pretty exciting. So be ready for that and make sure to keep big tipping. See you next week.